curious minds welcome to project silence prodigy your one stop solution for all your project management needs i am govind a pmp certified project manager today we will dive into another exciting topic earned value management or evm in agile projects in any project management's primary concern is usually about money they want to know are we staying within budget are we truly getting the value for the money we have invested rather than hearing about percentage of task completed or story points delivered the management prefer updates expressed in financial terms they might not follow the details of burn down charts sprint velocities or percent complete reports but if you say we have spent 500000 dollars so far and the value of completed work is only 400000 dollar so it means we are over spending so that message clicks immediately to the management and that's the reason earned value management was developed to translate project progress in scope and schedule into clear financial metrics this allows stakeholders to quickly see whether a project is on track within budget and delivering value so let's break down the key evm terms and understand them better with examples earned value management in agile projects is basically a way of checking project progress by looking at three things together cost schedule and scope the idea is to take the usual agile numbers like how many backlog items are finished how fast the team is working means the velocity and how much the team cost per sprint and convert all these into financial values why do we do this because it gives a clear picture in business terms it answers the important question are we delivering the value we planned within time and budget agreed at the same time it keeps its scope flexible which is the heart of agile so how agile evm works we know in agile story points are used to size the work these points are very useful because they let us compare what we plan to do means what is our planned value with what we actually managed to complete earned value so instead of vague percentages we have a measurable way to show the progress we have iteration checkpoints in agile each sprint works like a checkpoint at the end of every sprint the team looks at how much work was planned and how much was really delivered so based on this we can calculate earned value see if there is any gap and then adjust the plan for the next sprint this way we don't wait till the project end to find out if things went wrong we track and correct step by step stakeholder involvement a big advantage of agile ebm is that it involves business owners more frequently in traditional projects management might only get updates at major milestones while in agile they get updates every sprint this keeps them closer to the progress makes reporting more transparent and builds confidence that the project is moving in the right direction planned value pv planned value tells us how much work we intended to complete by a certain time and it is expressed in money terms think of it as the financial worth of the plan for example suppose if in sprint 2 we had planned to finish 40 story points and each story point is valued at 500 dollar so then the planned value will be 40 multiplied by 500 dollar so it will be 20000 dollar it shows by the end of sprint 2 we should have delivered worth 20000 dollar job if everything went according to plan earned value ev earned value shows the worth of the work that has actually been completed and accepted by product owner pv is about planning but ev is about real delivery for example if by the end of sprint 
only 30 story points were actually completed and accepted by product owner. So here in this case, EV will be 30 into $500. So which will come $15,000. So this gives us a financial measure of progress. What we have actually earned in value term so far. Actual cost AC. Actual cost is the real money that has been spent to get the work done. In agile project, this is usually the team's cost for running the sprint, which covers salaries, tools and infrastructure. For example, suppose to run sprint 2, the team cost is $12,000. So actual cost AC is $12,000, no matter whether 30 points or 40 points were delivered. It reflects the actual expenditure rather than the planned or earned value. Budget at completion BAC. BAC is the total budget allocated for the entire project. It represents the maximum amount of money approved to deliver the whole backlog. Formula of BAC is equal to product backlog into cost per story point. For example, suppose if the product backlog has 200 story points and each point is valued at $500. So then BAC in this case will be 200 into $500. So total is $100,000. So this sets the financial ceiling of the project. Next EVM matrix is ETC, estimate to complete. ETC is a forecast of how much more money we will need to complete the remaining work. It's a calculation based on how fast the team is actually delivering, what is the team velocity, and how efficiently costs are being used. For example, suppose if 120 story points are left in the backlog and each point is still valued at $500. So in this case, ETC will be 120 into $500. So which will be $60,000. Assuming team efficiency remains the same. So it tells us the future cost, which is required to finish what is left. Next term is estimate at completion EAC. EAC tells us the total cost the project is likely to reach if current performance tends continue. BAC shows the original approved budget, budget at completion, while EAC adjusts the number based on how the team is actually performing. So formula for EAC is AC plus ETC. AC is money already spent and ETC is money is still needed to finish the remaining work. For example, suppose our AC actual cost is $40,000, which has already been spent, and the forecasted cost to finish the remaining backlog is $60,000, which is ETC, estimate to complete. So then EAC will be $40,000 plus $60,000, which will come $100,000. So this means if trends remain the same, the project will end up costing 100,000 in total. Next, expected percent complete, EPC. EPC shows how much progress the project should have made by now based on the original plan. It is like saying, by sprint 4 out of 10, we expected to be 40% done. Formula for EPC is current sprint divided by total planned sprints. For example, if the project had 10 sprint planned and you are currently in sprint 4, so then EPC will be 4 divided by 10 into 100%, which will come 40%. Actual percent complete, APC. APC shows how much progress has actually been achieved in terms of completed story points. Unlike EPC, expected percent complete, which is about planned progress, APC is about real delivery. So formula for APC is story points completed divided by total planned story points. For example, suppose if the total backlog had 200 story points and so far 60 have been completed, then APC will be 60 divided by 200, which will be 30%. This helps us see if the project is ahead of plan, on track or lagging behind. Planned story release points. 
This represents the total number of story points estimated for a product release. It is used as a baseline to measure progress and forecast the cost. For example, suppose if the product release is estimated to take 300 story points in total, then all other values like PV, EV and APC are measured against these 300 points. Let's understand these EVM terms with one real life example. Suppose a project has a product backlog of 500 story points and each point has a value of $200. That means the BAC budget at completion will be 500 into 200 which is $100,000. The team velocity is 50 story points per sprint. So they expect to finish in about 10 sprints. Now let's see what happens by the end of sprint 3. So planned value PB, by now the team had planned to finish 150 story points. So PB is 150 into 200. So it will be $30,000 worth. And earned value EV, in reality, the team only completed 120 story points. So EB will be 120 into 200, so $24,000. Actual cost AC, if the cost of running the team is 10,000 per sprint, so in 3 sprint, the cost will be $30,000. If you do analysis of this scenario, so CB here will be EB minus AC, 24,000 minus 30,000 which will come minus 6000 means over budget. It shows the project has spent more than the value earned. So meaning it is over budgeted. Schedule variance will be EV minus PV, which will be 24,000 minus 30,000 again minus 6000. So the project is delivering less value than planned. So it is behind schedule. CPI cost performance index, which will be EV divided by AC. So EV here 24,000 divided by 30,000. So which is 0.8 less than 1 means cost efficiency is below 1. It means for every dollar spent only 80 cents of value is being delivered. SPI schedule performance index, which will be EV divided by PV. EV is 24,000 and PV is 30,000. So again 0.8, which means slower than planned. The team is progressing at only 80% of the planned rate. If we conclude, this project is in trouble. It is overspending and progressing slower than expected. If this trend continues in future sprints, it will likely cost more and take longer than originally planned. In Agile projects, earned value management helps translate story points and velocity into financial terms, giving clear visibility of cost, schedule and value delivery. If you found this lesson insightful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Project Excellence Prodigy. Until next time, Namaste, Goodbye, Sampai Jumpa.